Hey, the behavior of conservatives, including Donald Trump, toward Vladimir Putin and Russia is something that's freaking a lot of people out. And it's part of an overall fracturing of the Republican Party down ideological lines. What's happening basically is there's a, a authoritarian populist movement in the Republican Party. And it's not the same thing as the Tea Party. It's, it's, it does include some Tea Party people, but it's uh, it's different in many ways. And the main characteristic about it is that it likes an iron-fisted leader, someone like Donald Trump, a person who's going to crack down on uh, undocumented immigrants. He's going to deport them, ban Muslims. He's, he's someone who doesn't really respect the free press. And that's a type of leader that, especially populists, and there's a populist element here, strong populist element, uh, which is xenophobic. It tends to blame the foreigner, foreigners, immigrants, foreign countries. It, it sees a type of international conspiracy. You know, the whole globalization type of thing is a conspiracy to create type of new world order, I guess. And in that sense, Barack Obama would be like the poster boy of the new, this new world, this new order of where people and goods can move freely across borders. And that's something, especially coming out of the Great Recession. It appeals to a lot of people, and especially to a lot of conservatives. These are conservatives who really are attached to the old order. So seeing someone like Barack Obama, the first black president, or the first woman president, Hillary Clinton, that's something that they're not very, that scares them, really. And so uh, Donald Trump, a someone, an authoritarian type of leader who is in the mold of Vladimir Putin. That's, that's, that's the reason, I think, that he's having such a wave of support among people who were quiet, pretty much quiet pre previously, but now with this new environment, this new atmosphere, they feel they can come out, and Donald Trump is really giving him that kind of uh, cover to come out, where before they, they more kept those kind of sentiments to themselves. And this is something you can, you can see across the globe. And a lot of these people are attracted to Putin because he represents that type of old order. And what it would hurt, it hurts people on both sides, both sides of the aisle, both parties, of course, immigrants, people, families who ha are immigrants or people who are married to immigrants uh, who have family overseas. And it would hurt also companies doing business overseas or in other countries or people working for those, for international companies. There's a lot, and then you would look at the aspect of foreign policy. That's a whole another question. And would the United States under Trump be inclined to go along with Russia and allow them to sort of do what they want and as long as they let Trump do what he wants? That type of thing. It's really something, as someone who grew up during the Cold War and who served in West Germany during that time, near the full of the gap, the epicenter of a possible Soviet-U.S. war. This is something I couldn't have imagined.